Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Kids Time. I'm glad that you joined me again this morning where we can learn about God. Hey, boys and girls. Last week, we took a break for Easter, and we had a special Easter lesson, and we didn't have any review time. But today, you pay attention during Pastor Lee's message because we're going to ask three review questions at the end, and I want to know if you can pay attention and get the answers. Boys and girls, on our Sunday morning series, we've been studying the attributes of God. And today, we get to learn that God is eternal. God is eternal. He has no beginning and he has no ending. Boys and girls, we're also going to get to hear the story of Moses and the burning bush. How that God spoke to Moses and revealed who he was. That God is the I am that I am. God is the eternal self-existent one. And boys and girls, God is eternal and we are temporary. Sometimes we have to wait a long time. But to God, God doesn't change. That's a beautiful thing that we can build our lives on. That God is going to be consistently the same throughout our lives. Okay, boys and girls, are you ready to have some song time? Okay, boys and girls, time for songs. I'm so glad that you can join me. I'm really happy for all the boys and girls that we have been able to be with me on the broadcast and sing along. I hope, boys and girls, that you've been singing along with me from your home. It was really special to see all those kids singing in the choir last week. Well, let's sing some songs, okay? Let's stand up and sing it together. Joy, do you think you could go find some friends to sing with us? Thank you. Boy, I wonder who she's going to find today. Boy, Joy, what are you doing? Joy, what are you doing? Ah, ah, ah. Whoa! Whoa! Where did Joy blow me to? This looks like my living room. Well, hello, friends. Are you going to sing with me? Mm -hmm. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 He's got the itty bitty babies. In his hands, he's got the itty bitty babies. In his hands, he's got the itty bitty babies. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the brothers and the sisters. In his hands, he's got the brothers and the sisters. In his hands, he's got the brothers and the sisters. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the mommies and the daddies. In his hands, he's got the grandpas and the grandmas. In his hands, he's got the whole Christian family. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. Okay, boys and girls, it's time for our Bible lesson today. Today we are learning that God is eternal. God is everlasting. He has no beginning and he has no end. God has always existed. And Moses learned this back in the beginning of the book of Exodus. Now, boys and girls, if you remember the story of Exodus, you remember that Moses had not grown up with the Hebrew people. He grew up in the palace of Pharaoh, being raised by Pharaoh's daughter. He was taught all of the learning of the Egyptians. But when Moses got old enough, he decided that he wanted to identify with God's people. And, well, God wanted Moses to deliver his people out of Egypt. But Moses kind of went about that the wrong way at first. He killed an Egyptian. 
And later Pharaoh found out and Moses ran for his life. He ran out into the desert. And while he was there, Moses became a shepherd. For 40 years, Moses was out in the desert taking care of sheep. Now, I don't think that's really a very exciting job. Um, maybe some exciting things happen every now and again, but Moses watched sheep for 40 years. Well, God wanted to show Moses that he was the eternal one. And one day Moses was on the backside of the desert near Mount Horeb. And he saw a very strange sight. He saw a bush that was on fire, but the bush was not burning up. So Moses said to himself, I'm going to go see what this burning bush is all about. But as he drew near, a voice spoke out from the bush. Moses, Moses, take off your sandals. The ground you are standing on is holy ground. And God had a message for Moses. Now, boys and girls, you know that a burning bush is not God. Okay, we know that. But God chose to use this to get Moses' attention, and he spoke audibly to Moses. And God said, Moses, Moses, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Moses, I've got an important job for you. I have heard the affliction of the people of Israel and Egypt who are bearing the burden of slavery there. And I want you to go and to deliver them. Boys and girls, do you remember that mean guy, Pharaoh, who wouldn't let the people go? That's who God wanted Moses to go to and lead the people out of Egypt. Well, Moses was kind of alarmed at this. I mean, he had gotten used to being a shepherd and his routine, his, day, you know, his daily life, it was kind of boring to go back to Egypt and demand that God let the people go? Moses said, but when the people of Israel ask me, who sent you? Who am I to tell them sent me? Who are you, God? And God said to Moses, Moses, I am that I am. Tell them the I am has sent me. Moses, the I am who I am is sending you. Who, what was God saying? God was saying that he is eternal. God is the eternal self-existent one. God has always existed and always will exist. God has no beginning and no ending. God always has existed. And God needs nothing to exist. God doesn't need food or drink to exist. He doesn't need air to breathe. He doesn't need sunshine. God doesn't even need people. God just exists. He is the self-existent one. He is eternal. Before there was even a world, before the beginning of our universe, God existed. God is eternal. And the eternal God was speaking to Moses and saying, Moses, go, go to Egypt and rescue my people, Israel. Boys and girls, that's really exciting that God is eternal. Because that means that we can depend on him to be consistent. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, he's the same today, and he'll be the same forever. He won't ever change. We don't have to worry about God changing his mind about what is right and wrong. We don't have to worry about God changing his mind about what he wants us to do. When God says, don't tell falsehood, don't tell lies, because I am truth. A hundred years from now, God isn't going to change his mind. God is eternal. He will stay the same. Jesus is the truth, and he will always be the truth. This is a wonderful thing for us. God 
is eternal.